Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I've had a lot of great feedback on the new shadow box card scene projects. Since these projects contain both regular cut pieces and print and cut pieces, I wanted to show you how easy it is to get them cut out. I know print and cut can seem a little bit intimidating, but it's really not that hard. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to cut these out on the silhouette using Silhouette Studio. So the first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and open up your file and you can purchase it here in the Silhouette store and it will come into your library and then you can open it up on your screen or you can purchase the SVG file and open that up if you have the designer edition and they'll open up just the same way either way so it doesn't matter which way you buy them. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is select everything and right click and ungroup. So I'm going to take all the little print and cut pieces and move them off to the side and get those out of the way for a minute. And we'll go ahead and set up to cut out all of our colored pieces. So I would cut these on um, colored cardstock or pattern papers, whatever you'd like. Um, and I would go ahead and set them up to minimize the passes and make it efficient by putting all the green pieces in one corner, blue pieces in another corner, the um, craft pieces and the brown pieces each in their own corners and then you can load paper onto these different corners of your mat and go ahead and send those to the silhouette. You'll do that by going to the send panel choosing your material which would be cardstock, choosing your action which would be to cut and you can choose the blade ratchet or um, auto blade and then you would send that to your silhouette. Then you'd come back to the design tab go ahead and move these pieces off of your mat and put your card base on and go ahead and get get that cut out the same way. Once you're done cutting out all of those pieces, we're ready to do the fun part, which is the print and cut. So let's move our print and cut pieces back onto the mat here and go up to the page setup. And under size, we need to choose eight and a half by 11. This is the size of a sheet of paper that you can run through your home printer. So let's go over to the third tab over which is the registration marks and turn those on to Cameo. And you'll notice that that brings up this gray cross hatching area along with three black marks. Those three black marks will be read by the optical eye in your silhouette machine and um, will precisely cut on all the red lines. It'll orient it and help it know exactly where to cut. So make sure you place all your graphics inside the white area. Don't let them touch any of the gray areas or the registration marks. And make sure you're using a white cardstock. If you use a colored cardstock or a dark color especially, it can be difficult to see these registration marks. Plus, we'll want our cloud to turn out white, and I want these to come out on a little, um, with a little white border around them. Um, while we're here, I wanted to show you one thing that you can do. If you'd like to uh, resize, or I'm sorry, recolor any of the pieces, um, just go ahead and select one of those pieces and right click and ungroup. And you'll see that we can grab the color piece separately. So I'm gonna undo that. But um, as I select the top of that tree, I can go to my color palette and choose another color for that. So if you wanna recolor anything, and that works for any of the pieces in this artwork, um, you have the flexibility and freedom to do that. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And now that we're ready to print our project out, we'll go ahead and click the printer icon, send that to your printer. When that prints out, you'll have this nice sheet of printed cardstock that has these registration marks, all three of them, printed on it along with your graphics. It will not print the red lines, so don't worry about that. Um, the red lines are simply for cutting. So go ahead and load that piece of white cardstock into the upper left-hand corner of your cutting mat and in the exact position that you can see here on the screen. And then you're ready to send it to your silhouette. So we'll go ahead and click Send. You'll choose your material, which would be cardstock, and the action would be cut. You can choose your blade. And then on the send panel, you can send it. And you'll notice how these lines around your little graphics here have turned bright red. That means that is where your machine is going to cut. So it's really quite simple. Now you'll have all these cute embellishments cut out and your card all cut out. And you're ready to watch the assembly tutorial video. So I hope you have so much fun making these cards. They're really cute. And I hope you have a lovely day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.